Aries singles welcome. This is a singles reading. I call it Meet the Soulmate. And I use a spread I call the Four Pillars, just another eight card spread. And here it represents the emotional aspect of someone and, or relationship. Here we're going to try to look right at your person. This represents the intellectual aspects. This is the sexual love aspects. This is the what I call lifestyle and core value aspects. Um, <clears throat> I think are kind of the core of any relationship. It kind of gives me a, uh, a way to get a handle on your person. I just want to say that the bottom of the deck here is, and I, this is just straight up marriage. You're going to marry this person. All right, this you reading. I'm telling you, if you're single, we're looking here for super singles, completely singles. You know, it's like the maybe we've been busy, and really there's been nowhere for our soulmate to <clears throat> get a get an end to land. So we're going to clear a runway. We're going to let that soulmate come on down, get a VIP limousine out there to them, and meet them and um, see what they're like. So already astrologically, you know, I uh, always think sun, moon, rising, and Venus, but I'll state here what I think. But we're going to get a lot of the astrology off of your person here. And I don't need to clarify. So your, your king comes here. This is the moon. You have a cancer moon here. It's very well placed for this person. What does that mean? It's in a house that's auspicious, a uh, water house. Uh, maybe it's in the fourth house, but... Um, make them an Aries rising, but also very, this is going to limit it, but it, this person has Jupiter uh, conjunct their moon, less than a 10 degree orb, like see six degrees, let's say, or Jupiter to the moon in Cancer, so Jupiter in Cancer, where it is exalted, my friends, so this is a, um, this person like, uh, they would kind of just be bored understanding emotions, you know, it'd be very natural for them. And like trine energy you see in your chart a lot, things that come so naturally that even when you're told, you know, hey, you know you're like this, you might not even quite see it because it's such a part of you, like breathing. So um, we know with a cancer moon, you know, I have a cancer moon. Um, I think they'd be operating at a pretty high level in Libra Sun, so they'd be very concerned uh, about the other. This would be someone, we'll talk here about it, they would have had to go, they're over their first uh, Saturn return, they're officially an adult astrologically, 30-ish or at least uh, here. And I don't really look at the age so much, but I'm thinking an adult, and I get the sense that this person, they'll tell you stories, you know, they would have had to kind of uh, evolve in, through relationship, labor, son, and with the Seven of Cups, they love too much, you know, um, this Libra. I think they got probably a Scorpio uh, Mercury, and here we got uh, Scorpio uh, Venus, this Libra son. So we're putting together here a watery creature with the Libra Sun energy here, sort of uh, surrounded in it. And I even have a feeling, I think you're going to find this is a Cancer Moon. A cancer Moon, yes. Yeah, uh, uh, Mars, I mean, not Moon. Uh, we could have it here. Uh, probably like at an early degree or something, or late degree, I mean. Uh, something like this. And <clears throat> you might find that there's some relationship between the Mars and the Moon. And that would be, too, where they probably had to go through a process, your person here, as they grew and had relationships, being this Libra son. I think your person, too, they're operating at a high level, I should say, by the way. This implies a very good childhood. They just had solid parents. They gave them a strong sense of emotional uh, connection, groundedness, uh, validation, you know, um, and... Uh, they would have just had to learn to kind of honor themselves more, and they probably, uh, um, you know, wear their heart on their sleeve big time. Like this person here with this setup, the Libra and the Cancer. Okay, this is your classic person that everyone's going to want from the time they were in school. 
everyone's come crying their shoulder wants to put their head in their lap and this person here stroking their head just natural is breathing that's uh, how they're operating now um, the Venus that they have is in Scorpio and it's probably challenged it's already challenged obvious Scorpio it's a detriment there for a reason so with the tower what does it cause causes uh them to be how they may have learned you know uh, for one it's very deep it wants to go deep wants to look in the shadows wants to see it'll love you for your darkness you know not in spite of your darkness you know falls in love with your darkness uh, which to be a Scorpio that's the real you that's uh, you know you're not just your light you're all of you um, and so would have a real propensity to search you know psychologically which is antithetical to Libra energy, I'm going to tell you. Um, they really don't, Libra not very intelligent and will search information, but usually they don't like going down into the basement and dealing with the shadow work, you know. Um, it's just like, uh, you know, uh, not the pleasant uh, Libra of Venus type thing to do. And especially with the Mars and Cancer, Mars is is not does not do well in Cancer. There, you know, it's kind of a, you know, Mars is a warrior, but in Cancer, well, it's the medic, you know, so it just it wants to caretake caretake uh, for other people mainly. So again, they probably had quite a challenge, but you can kind of look at kind of almost I think I could see in Tarot here, is. <sighs> This, this flow and how this person kind of set up to really be forced by the Venus and Scorpio to have, don't let this scare you because this is your person, Aries, this is your person. Just say everybody gets to hear from there. Um, to deal with these deep emotional things uh, and even with the Mars and Cancer, even though it was difficult, probably when they were young, you know, they probably spent a lot of time wondering, you know, why am I different? Why don't I get love? What? How come I can't get it right, you know? Um, but to be sure, like, also, they'll they'll tell you, you can believe it here, Aries. This is a person that probably spent a lifetime uh, thinking about love and relationships, romance, a lot. You know, they'd be uh, good for my channel. So this is in the column here uh, of core values, you say, or lifestyle. And core values are like, you know, I don't believe in God, don't believe in God, want children, don't want children, family is important, not important, uh, you know, flag and country is important, flag and country is not important. The kind of things that are difficult to uh, get around in a relationship, I mean, I think we can do about almost anything to compromise it if there's love there, but I think core value is something that you have to kind of have. Um, but I, what I see here is a real risk taker and, you know, it's so radically different, um, from the rest of their, uh, I want to say their chart here. I'm not sure how this would play. I, I get the sense like could be like a Gemini, um, MC, Gemini Midheaven for them, which would make them a Virgo rising. So, you know, Somebody, this seems like the rise is the hardest thing for me to, to get with this. And I don't say if I don't feel it. But I just get that feeling. Like, and it's kind of like a, a, a very busy uh, for them. And then with this, this is Uranus energy here, the fool, the planet Uranus. So uh, maybe they have Uranus on their midheaven, right? 10th house. And that would add kind of a Aquarius feeling to this too. Could be Aquarius tenth house. All heads of my benches there, bets there, you know. But this this air tenth house, this Uranus energy. This is like this person would tell you a story. They will. They probably they will have succeeded. Okay. They, they have like this Sag energy. You only got this Jupiter here on the moon um, because. They, they just will keep taking chances. They'll just keep, like, you know, somebody said, well, Sag's the luckiest sign. Well, are we really lucky if every time we get knocked down, we just get up and do it again? A lot of people think you're stupid, but if you keep doing that over and over and over and over, well, eventually, you know, maybe you get lucky, you know. It's not really lucky. It's persistent, you know. 
but they got kind of that. And so this person is like uh, not afraid to take risks. I get the feeling like they're the way they are intimately would be radically different kind of from the way they are like in their public persona, 10th house, public image, their work. So literally like in their work, they might like, uh, like if someone from work that knew them from years, like would just come home and kind of witness them in the environment of their home with, with you say, um, you know, uh, they might be like, wow, you know, they, they really seem different. You know what I'm saying? It's bad. Uh, I'm saying it's kind of interesting uh, how they, um, in terms of their work, and so, in, in, to me, in, in terms of any kind of politic or anything, they're going to basically be kind of very liberally minded and very open minded. And it's exactly the kind of person could be into like tarot and astrology and the esoteric and whatever, you know. Um, it'll kind of, okay, think wide open. <laughs> with the, I love it, with the fool, wide open. So what does that mean? I mean, it's like, you know, you know, there, there's somebody comes along and says, I know it's kind of crazy, uh, but uh, hey, let's start this business, uh, that blah, blah, blah. They're like, okay, you know, and so yeah, I think they could have some very interesting stories. And also I should say too, when I first saw this entrepreneurial spirit, entrepreneurial spirit, see, and so that could put them into a lot of different scenarios, you know, true entrepreneur of any age, I mean, you tell them make it so uh, at the beginning so you you get to rack up a lot of experience and so and a lot of stories here too and uh, that's what I think they're going to tell you guys so I don't know Aries I like this person for you it has really good vibes I feel really good talking about it so um, let me know what you think I really appreciate if you hit like because helps my channel and I'd like to get these out more and helps the algorithm you know whatever it does oh god help us with the algorithms but thank you guys and if you haven't subscribed please do